Welcome you on a KK Java tutorial. Uh, in this series of MongoDB, we are going to learn how to create and drop database. So first of all, we'll explore the theory part and finally we'll jump into the practical example here. Yeah? So to create a database in MongoDB, you have to use use command. So just you need to write the command use and space database name and it will create the database if it doesn't exist at all. If that database is already existing, then it will return the existing database. Whenever I say it will return the existing database, means it will capture existing database. Yeah. So there is two purposes of a use command. One, you can create a database, and if database is already existing, then it will connect with the existing database. Now, to check your currently selected database, just you need to use the command db, and it will return the currently connected database name. If you want to check your databases list, then you need to use either show DBS or show databases and it will list out all the existing databases currently present in your MongoDB. Now, let's say if you have created your database and after, after that you issue a command show DBS or show databases, it will not list out your newly created database until unless you do not insert at least one document in your newly created database. So once you insert at least one document in your newly created database and afterwards if you issue a command show dbs it will list out your newly created database as well now in mongodb default database is test so this is the pre-existing one by default uh, right so if you don't create any database then collection will be stored in your test database so uh, let's say if you create a collection and uh, you do not select any database then by default it will save into the basically default database that is test now now thing is that how to drop database so drop means just deleting the existing database to drop you have to use a drop database method so just you need to connect with the database and issue a command db dot drop database right and it will drop the existing database one thing uh, you need to keep in mind once you delete the database then underlying collections all the documents will be deleted for forever so while issue this command you need to basically uh, keep in mind right and uh, let's say if you do not select any database and you issue this command db dot drop database then it will drop the default database that is test in this case these things you have to keep in mind now whatever we have discussed so far let's try to understand through a, a practical example yeah so here i'm going to open mongodb shell and there i'm going to show you all this concept or whatever we have discussed in the slide so to connect with the mongodb just you need to press the enter and here we have connected with the mongodb right so just issue the cls to clear the command and here first command i'm going to show you show dbs right and it is listing out all the databases present in your database except test is not listed over there right so here if you look at the command prompt it is clearly saying this is a test database and to check currently which database you are connected with so just you need to issue the command db what we are discussing in the slide so it is returning test so you might be wondering why test is not listed over here. The reason is that until unless you do not insert a single document, single collection, right? Then, then it will not show basically your database name. So in the so DBS. So here I'm going to create, insert one document in test database. So to insert one document, what I'm going to do, I will do db dot uh, document name so document name i'm going to specify users even though there is no as such document with the name user so what all documents are present in the database what is document we'll discuss in the next video but uh, document is nothing but there you can insert multiple uh, basic sorry collection is nothing but uh, so so right now if you do show collections uh, within the uh, uh, test database it will not return any collection so collection is nothing but the uh, first of all you clear the collection it will contain the multiple records so here what i, I am going to do basically i'm going to do db dot collection and let's say collection is uh, users right so user collection is not there so it will be created right if that collection is not there then it will create and i'm going to insert single document so for that you need to use the insert command and curly right you know in mongodb everything is stored as a json so in mongodb key value pairs you can give so let's say i would say user data is there then i would say name is let's say kk and comma 
let's say age second attribute i'm going to give the age and age let's say 30 and that's it two documents as of now i'm going to give and finally parenthesis close if i enter then here you can see one document is inserted into the users uh, insert now i'm if you issue the db then still you can see we are connected with the db database and now if i do show collections right so now one collection you will find uh, in the basically db test database so here you can see it is running uh, basically users right now if i do show dbs right it will list out your test database as well because now one document i have inserted into test database and that's the reason it is showing uh, basically here now to check all the basically database you can also use it, use a command you, either you can use show dbs or show databases so here i'm going to write show databases it will also list out all the existing uh, basically uh, uh, databases right now let's say i want to delete a database so to delete already we have discussed right so currently we have connected with the test and test database i want to delete so what i'll write db dot drop database right this method you have to once you press enter then it is saying okay one okay one and drop test one means it is successfully deleted now if i do show dbs it will not show you test database because we have deleted right so guys in this video we have learned how to create and drop database in mongodb right so uh, so i have shown you through the basically a uh, mongodb cell but same thing you can uh, do using a mongodb uh, compass as well so mongodb compass is nothing while like uh, you can compare with the uh, uh, oracle sql developer right or uh, toad right how you connect with the sql um, i mean uh, rdbms right so once you connected with the mongodb compass here it provides you a very nice GUI. they are here you can see the, all the databases and if you click over here right here you can give the database name and collection name i can create but in real time right uh, real time project hey, usually we basically you need to basically deal with the all the commands right uh mongodb commands right programmatically how you are going to drop right like db dot drop uh, database these things you are going to write and that's the reason you need to learn all the basically commands or all the methods provided in the mongodb right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial and thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial